An historical move towards reconciliation in West Africa took place in December of 1999. WHRO and Fox 43 was there and brings you this special report. It's amazing that for 400 years, this road was used as a trade in human beings, a trade of somewhat called the worst kind in, in the world's history. But now it's being used as a trade in forgiveness from one nation to another, from one people to another. After hearing apologies offered by representatives from the slave trading nations, African Americans began the slow process of reconciliation. First, they had to travel the road their ancestors took. Their journey began in Ouida. This is a Portuguese fort where millions of Africans were sold. It was built in the 17th century and it still stands as a reminder of the painful past Benin has inherited. It's now a starting point of a journey into history. Hundreds of Americans, including local Hampton Roads residents, started this journey into the past. They were greeted with ritual song and dance. Inside, the story is told how human trade began in Africa. The next stop was the auction place. In this exact spot, thousands of people were auctioned off. After being sold, the Africans had to walk. From the auction place, they walked a straight and narrow path, not knowing what lay ahead. They were taken to the place of Zamai, where they were kept in darkness and branded. They were being prepared for the holds of the slave ships. We have different kinds of heads. The small heads represent people from the north. They were in a, in a little number deported. And we have two big heads. The first one, which shows the presence of the Yorubas. The Yorubas also were uh, uh, greatly deported. The Yorubas are from Nigeria. And, uh, so Some died along the way, and this is where they were buried. This memorial rests on the same spot where mass graves were dug. Many times, the Africans were alive when buried. For some, the awful truth was too much. The gate of no return was the last stop for the Americans. For the Africans, it was the beginning of a long and terrifying journey. Hundreds of years ago, a hut stood in place of this gate. Africans would pass through it and onto ships to points unknown. Now, Americans and Africans can only collect the sand where their ancestors once walked, collecting grains of the past to remind them of their future. From the shores of Benin, West Africa,